Sorry, I disappeared briefly for a moment. I think there was some uh, problem with the network, but here I am back again waiting for your uh, questions. So what had I said? I'd said Marina Bay Sands, uh, the whole experience of being on top of the world. Really um, um, useful tip I can give to people who like to travel that uh, when you're booking your um, when you're booking your tickets, it's good to book your hotel at the same time as well because you can get great deals, especially on Make My Trip. In fact, whenever I need to go anywhere else, first up, I just it's it's amazing because it's at the touch of a button. It's on on your phone, and um, you can uh, totally you know get prices, check out the deals, know pretty much in like a couple of minutes how much money you're going to be spending how much it's going to cost you, um, whether it's within your budget, or you can find stuff within your budget that's that's also there. So it's very, very useful. In fact, um, my opening page of my phone has Make My Trip. It's one of the most used apps on my phone. Uh, lots of very sweet messages. Thank you. You're my inspiration. A lot of people are saying, nice to see you looking so pretty. Thank you, Amin. Thank you, Chehel. Bahut hot ho up says Prabhat. Thank you very much. Um, okay, tell me about my last Singapore trip. I did a lot of shopping. My favorite place to shop over there is Ion, of course, at Orchard. I also love Takashima. It's been on for, uh, around for a very long time, but has some of my favorite stores. And I love the basement of Wisma Itchia because they have lovely dresses and lo lots of fun stuff to be bought there. Okay, lunch kar lo ab. Nay, lunch ke liye thoda time hai, Nimavat ji. Um, what do I like the most in Singapore? Well, like I said a little while ago, there's so much uh, to do there. I mean, you can do a solo trip. In fact, it's very safe for women to travel also over there. It's not like, I mean, you can totally take a, any of the public transport, even late at night. It is a totally safe city. Uh, in fact, um, I remember uh, my last trip to Singapore, me and my 14-year-old niece, we went out for dinner together. We had an evening out and it was totally safe to take a cab there, to take a cab back. Um, that's what I like about Singapore. It's very, very safe. There's a lot for the family. There's a lot to do. You can do a solo trip, you can do a family trip and you can have equal amounts of fun doing so. Okay. Uh, please sing a Bhojpuri song. No, I can't. A, I can't sing and B, I don't know any Bhojpuri songs. But uh, thank you for asking for these very unusual requests. I just loved your Dilwale Dulanya Le Jayenge look. Thank you very much. When am I coming back to host cricket analysis? Well, cricket is never going to leave my life. It's going to be uh, a part of my life always. Uh, try my luck in Punjab politics. No, not really. How about some more questions on Singapore and my trips to Singapore? Well, let me tell you, okay, the two hotels I've stayed, I stayed at in Singapore, um, well, three of them, St. Regis, very beautiful hotel, very comfortable, really enjoyed myself, St. Regis, I've stayed at Four Seasons, I've stayed, stayed at the W, which is at Sentosa, in fact, if you're doing a family trip, that's a great you know, place to stay because it is located at Sentosa and all the fun things to do with kids are at Sentosa. Um, so I've stayed there at the W as well. So these are the hotels I've stayed and enjoyed staying at. Um, sari look is best. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, my fitness. Thank you so much for all the lovely comments related to my fitness. In fact, let me give you a fitness tip. Whenever you travel. So I never leave home, even if I'm taking a one day trip or whether I'm taking a... Um, a 10-day trip for a holiday, I always travel with my walking shoes because my most important tip that um, that I give people is when you have your walking shoes with you, your exercise or your workout can start the moment you finished tying your shoelaces. So um, that's that's one tip I can give you as far as travel and fitness is concerned. Aapka uh, hairstyle change karna hai, thik hai, mein change kar dungi, thore time mein. What is my favorite uh, local food in Singapore? Well, um, there's no real, well, Singapore noodles, who doesn't love Singapore noodles? But I really like um, teppanyaki. In fact, I enjoy a teppanyaki whenever I uh, travel to Singapore. Um, so that's my favorite food when I go there. Um, otherwise... I love eating, uh, like I said a little while ago, I like eating at the restaurants at Dempsey, PS Cafe, 
uh, what was that, uh, the Chinese restaurant called Chop Sui. And uh, there's another very nice restaurant called Cook House at Dempsey. Uh, I ate that, the la uh, ate over there the last time. Of course, Clark Key is great for restaurants and nightclubs. Um, the couple of uh, nightclubs I have visited at Clark Key, well, one is called the F Club. Uh, the decor is very nice, it's very artistic. And I also like Attica. You gotta go down to Attica, but it's the feeling of an attic. So that's really nice as well. Uh, you're welcome. I'm enjoying sharing my experiences with you. Uh, a lot of people are saying they want to meet me. Thank you. Mm. Any more questions? Are there any more questions? Uh, let me tell you about this lovely experience that I've had at uh, Long Bar, which is at the Raffles Hotel. That is great fun. Uh, the thing about Long Bar is that, um, you know, Singapore is a very, very clean city. Uh, you get fined uh, for littering over there. They really manage to keep the city very clean. But the thing about Long Bar is, it's in this very fancy hotel, very fancy part of town. Uh, you, you're you given peanuts to snack on and you're allowed to throw the peanut shells on the floor when you're um, having a drink there. So I really love that concept and I think a lot of people sort of want to go there just so they can litter a little bit, live a little um, because there are so many strict and stringent rules as far as cleanliness um, are concerned in Singapore, and they should be. So uh, that's a place I like, and that's an experience I'd like to share. Never forget it. I remember having a Long Island iced tea there uh, at the Long Bar and eating a lot of peanuts and littering all around my table. It was great fun. A lot of people want to meet me. Where do you find good chocolates in Singapore? That is a very good question. In fact, I'm going to yeah, look it up and um, uh, find out from my friends in Singapore and let you know, Surbi. Okay. Uh, that, yes, there is a Buddha poster behind me over here. There's a lot of Buddha influence in my house. I'm currently sitting on the floor in my living room. Okay, lots of fitness related questions, but I promise you we'll do a Facebook live specially connected to fitness uh, for sure. If there are any more questions, that would be great. Uh, let, me, let me share with you my experience at the zoo. You need a good maybe three, four hours to visit the zoo because it is such an amazing experience. The night experience and the day experience are completely different. If you go in the day, go first thing in the morning and make sure you can do breakfast with your orangutans because that is something really special. You're having your breakfast and there are orangutans sitting over there and you can feed them a banana and you can take some pictures with them and they're very friendly. So that was the highlight of my trip to the zoo. And the Singapore Zoo, I have to say, is the best zoo I've ever visited in the world. And my son also enjoyed that experience. This was a couple of years ago when I went. Most recently, um, when I went in October, I went for the night safari because I'd heard so much about it. And that was a lovely experience as well. You're in this little Jeep and it's about 7.30 in the evening after dark and you get to see all the animals and there's spotlights on the animals without disturbing them too much. And that experience is also really mind blowing, something really different. Um, the night safari and the day visit to the zoo are a must when you go to Singapore. And um, um, well, I've shared the hotels I like to stay at. Um, I shared my favorite restaurants. I've uh, shared with you, okay, the best place in Singapore for a photo shoot. Well, Singapore has beautiful skylines, so I'd love to go up to Marina Bay Sands for a beautiful view because if you put a camera anywhere over there, you get a stunning view. So maybe Marina Bay Sands Hotel would be a great place for a photo shoot. That's a nice question. Thank you. Um, do we have any more questions connected to Singapore? A lot of people are asking me that I should grow my hair. Okay, I will at some point. <laughs> right now I'm enjoying the short hair. It kind of goes with my personality. Thank you for all your compliments. Thank you. Very nice and beautiful. A lot of people are saying Singapore. 
which are the prominent places to visit in Singapore. There's great shopping uh, over there. The, I, as I said, I recommend the zoo. I recommend Sentosa. Ah, maybe I didn't talk about uh, the um, uh, Universal Studios and the aquarium. So Universal Studios is absolutely fun and fantastic. I'm a ride junkie. I really enjoy rides. The mummy experience is great there. Um, humans and Cyclones, those are fantastic uh, roller coaster rides. There's also Enchanted Airways, which my son and I both enjoyed. There was a Puss in Boots ride as well, which is fantastic. Um, but the Transformers ride is absolutely something else. That's the one I always go for twice when I go to uh, um, Universal Studios. The experience is fantastic. Uh, it's a 3D experience and you're sitting in this little pod and you're taken all over the countryside. It's a little bit scary, but it's great fun. I really enjoyed um, Universal, experience, uh, Universal Studios and I enjoy going there every single time I go to Singapore. It's like a thing I have to tick off on my list. Whether I'm with my son or not, I go to Universal Studios. That's how much I love it. Uh, do I have... Yeah, I have some family in Singapore. That's a nice question. I have a brother who lives there. So I do visit him very, very often. I have my family who lives there. But um, I still keep going back because there's still so much to do in Singapore. And every time, as I said, I book. I book on Make My Trip. Actually, anytime I'm booking tickets or hotels for anywhere, that's where I've... I, I like the convenience of being able to um, of being able to just book uh, at the click of a button on your phone uh, there's a nice question how, minimum how many days should one plan while going to Singapore well if you want to cover Singapore and do a lot there's lots of things that take up the whole day like the zoo would take up half your day Universal Studios takes up your entire day then shopping you need to keep a couple of days aside for that so I would say a good amount of time for for shopping would uh, for 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 going to Singapore uh, would be about ten days, ten days or twelve days is a is a perfect amount of time to give Singapore its due. There's even Chinatown, which is very charming, which you would in, in, enjoy. Um, so uh, yeah, what was I saying? So I I um, uh, always book on uh, make my trip because I think that's uh, really convenient. Uh, you get the best deals, the guess, uh, the best prices. And um, um, anytime I want to go anywhere, be it a, a ticket that's domestic or be it a ticket that's um, uh, international, uh, I think uh, the, the, you, you get a range of whatever is available, um, how many stops, um, what the prices are, comparative prices. So it's, it's really very useful. It's like having your um, own travel agent at the click of a button. Any time of, of day or night, you don't have to pick up the phone and call anyone you, you it's just there available all the information at your fingertips thank you you're enjoying watching me live how do I keep myself so healthy and fit okay I'm going to quickly give you a quick fitness uh, uh, trip somebody over here says um, I made my mind next travel is definitely Singapore through MMT that's great my favorite footpath in Singapore I don't have a real a favorite I've been to Singapore through MMT and enjoyed it. Happy Sunday, ma'am. What's the best time of the year? I, I would say anywhere, anywhere from October to April. Uh, okay, uh, time for a quick fitness tip. Let me throw one of those quickly in. Like I said, you should always travel with your, uh, um, with your walking shoes, running shoes, because you can walk or run anywhere. Your exercise starts the moment you tie your shoelaces. Uh, but a fitness tip I would give when you travel is, a good thing to travel with is you get these TheraBands, which are, uh, which are just these thin strips of rubber. And they don't weigh anything. You can put them in your suitcase and you can do pretty much every, every part of a, your body can get worked out with those bands. You can travel with them. And uh, sometimes when you're staying at a place which, where you don't have access to a gym, you can even work out in your hotel room. So there's a fitness tip for you, for all those who asked. Um, cricket commentary. My God, so many questions regarding cricket. Favorite nightlife spot in uh, Singapore? Well, um, Clark Key is great fun. Like I said, uh, uh, Clark Key has two really nice 
places which I enjoy, the F Club and Attica. Uh, you can go f to lovely restaurants at Dempsey, even at Clark Key for good food and for, you know, the nightclub feel. Oh, one of my favorite restaurants, which I did not talk about, which is on the top of Ion Mall, is Paradise Dynasty. They have the best noodles. In fact, whenever I go there, I don't order anything else. I just order a, a, a portion of Hakka noodles. I don't share it with anybody else, and I eat it all by myself. And that's all I eat, because the noodles are so good over there. Okay, uh... आपने जो कुछ भी पाया क्या कभी सोचा था ऐसा कुछ एक्चुअली गॉड इज वेरी काइंड एंड वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर ऑल दी अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट कम इन माई लाइफ बी दे वर्क बी दे द ट्रैवल दैट आई गेट टू डू बी बी इट द फैक्ट दैट आफ्टर ट्वेंटी टू ईयर्स आई एम स्टिल वर्किंग एंड आई एम स्टिल इन्जॉइंग माई सेल्फ डूइंग द वर्क दैट आई डू सो एम वेरी थैंकफुल एंड ग्रेटफुल फॉर ऑल ऑफ दैट सेंग अ लॉट ऑफ हेलोज Onkar, hello Manoj, hello Rashid, uh, hi Urmila, Rupesh Goyal, lots of people uh, tuning in. Mohammad Farooq asked me what's my favorite song. Let me throw that in very quickly. There's a song by Calvin Harris called Feels. That's my favorite. Uh, will you come to Kashmir? Yes, I've come to Kashmir a few times and I really enjoyed it. I was there last year itself. Um, in Singapore, I haven't had an underwater scuba diving experience, but I, I would like to. Uh, which is the city you most like in the world? Well, you know, cities that have uh, lots to do. I like South Africa and I like Singapore because there's something for family and there's something even if you do solo and if you're an ad adventure junkie, there's some of that as well. Um, What's next? Okay, hi, hi, Sandeep. Hi, Priyanshu. Uh, hi, Nusrat. Lots and lots of people saying hello. Lots of compliments coming my way. Thank you so very much for that. I'm going to be on live for another two minutes only. So, if there are any more questions related to Singapore, well, let me tell you quickly about a very well kept secret in Singapore. Uh, there's a club called 1880, which uh, opened only two months ago. It's a members-only club, and it's very fancy, and it's very fun, and um, uh, it's got swimming pools, and it's got restaurants, and it's got you know, you know people, prominent people coming and speaking. You can have sessions with prominent people, so um, that's that's uh, something a lot of people don't know about. So that's one of the best kept secrets about Singapore, uh, because it's by invitation only. So uh, that's very nice. I enjoyed that. Um, nice to see you. So energetic. Love to. I love to see you on screen since my childhood. Thank you, Subod. I'm very happy to see you. Thank you so much, Priyanshu. Yes, Priyanshu, you're most welcome. Debashish, Krishna Dein Ramaswamy, Sumit. So many people tuning in. Uh, the messages are non-stop. Nusrat. Hi, Nusrat from Lonavla. Hello, Alan. Priyanshu. Uh, if we have any more questions, okay, which according to you is the most romantic place in Singapore? Well, there's a lovely uh, restaurant on top of Gardens by the uh, Bay. The restaurant over there, it's in such a beautiful setting with beautiful lights, uh, changing colors behind you. It's very, very romantic and very beautiful. I remember going there with my husband and I really enjoyed it. So I've given you a romantic spot as well. Um, Okay, thank you, Shanti. Was your favorite program? Says Siddharth. Thank you, Ranjit. Thank you, uh, Karma, Dinesh. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments. I wish I could have responded to each and every one of them. Uh, I shared a lot of my experiences um, that I've had in Singapore. I hope they're useful to you, and I hope a lot of you get on to make my trip. right on today itself and book your next holiday over there to singapore because i really do recommend singapore uh, as a great family destination for those of you who travel solo be it men or women there's plenty to do there uh, if you do a solo trip as well so here's mandira bedi signing off uh, saying bye bye to the last few people saif arnab mrigendra parkash karma 
Uh, Monish, thank you all for your lovely comments. Mickey, uh, this is me signing off, saying goodbye. I hope um, my little chat with you was useful and I hope um, you got some tips on how and where to go to when you're in Singapore next. And of course, when you're booking your tickets in your hotels, do so uh, on MakeMyTrip.com.